Hello and welcome to another episode of Friday Fly Day. Today we're going to be tying a passion vine hopper fly, also known as a lace moth by the Turangi locals. We had real trouble catching the fish that were so focused on eating this insect this season on the Tomorero and we just couldn't find a pattern that worked. Thankfully Mike Martindale came up with this amazing pattern that we're going to be tying today and it worked very well. So. Let's go. We'll be tying this fly on size 14 barbed Kumo hooks from Fly Ties Dungeon available from iLife Fly Fishing. We'll be using some 8.0 uni thread in black. For the body we'll be using some MS Nymph dub in Stonefly black. For the wing we're going to be using organza, it's a special material that you can find in most sort of craft stores. We're going to be burning those wings using Mike's custom made wing burner. We'll be colouring in the wing using a sharpie, a permanent marker. The hackle will be a quality grizzle hackle. Okay, with the hook and the vise, we're just going to start laying a base of thread. Now I'm using the scud hook because I actually want this fly to sit quite low in the water and I want to be able to create a short, dark, stubby body underneath the delta wing, which is how these insects look. So you sort of go down to just around the bend. You need to use, leave enough room for the hackle and also enough room to create this short stubby body so you don't want to go too far back it's just getting those proportions right now i'm going to dub this ackle on fairly tightly and trying to create a bit of a taper with it this ms nymph dubbing has got some rubbery legs in there which is also going to help stick out and kind of create that movement underneath the fly of an insect struggling in the water around there and then just build up a nice tapered but short stubby body and keep enough that excess off let's put a bit more in there see those little rubbery bits that stick out give the the idea of legs pinch of it. There we go, that should be enough. And then on the top I'm just going to snip off the excess and let the rest stick out underneath. Okay, a little short stubby body. And now we're going to stop and prepare the wing. So I'm just going to cut a squ small square of this organza material out and then I'm going to put it in the wing burner. And I'm actually going to end up cutting it quite close around the wing burner because too much material and you end up with lumps when you burn it. Okay, so you've got it there, Do your lighter, and now with the lighter you're just going to burn that material away, which seals the edges of that material. Then just wet your fingers, cool that down. So what you end up with is a small, nice little delta wing like that, that's clear. And now we're going to use the permanent marker to color that in. The idea is to create a blotchy pattern uh, with a dark outer rim similar to the actual insect. Okay, now we're going to tie in our wing. Let's place that over. Pinch wrap, or pinch wraps and tie that down. So that it sits nice. Up, oh, and I'm going to a couple of wraps behind as well. Almost wanted to sit up a bit. Okay. There we go. And it's sticking quite nice and far over the back because you want that effect of the delta wing sitting over the little short stubby body. Now we're going to strip our hackle back, expose the uh, stem. So we're going to tie our hackle in. And then we're going to use hackle pliers to wind it forward. With type wraps, you're leaving enough room to tie off at the front. The eye of the hook. Okay. Tie in there. Okay. 
Okay. Pull that back. Okay, I'm just gonna get those few stray fibers at the front. Right, and now I'm just gonna put a smidgen of super glue on the thread. Back, give it a couple of wraps, and then I'm just gonna do one loop finish. There we go. Back off, get that one more stray fiber. And there you go. That is the Passion Vine Hopper Fly. You can tie a para easily tie a parachute version as well, which will sit even lower in the water and give that nice delta wing profile. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these videos, click the link above. There's a whole playlist of these Friday Fly Day videos for you to look at. And also click the subscribe button so that you can see all the videos coming up every Friday. See you in the next one.